Historically, we've seen a lot of floods in our communities. The city of Binghamton, Broome County in general, is located on the confluence of the Shenango and the Susquehanna River. A lot of our major development areas, they tend to be located along these rivers. The rivers have been an asset throughout time, but it's also been a threat. There were big floods in the 1930s. A lot of our flood control projects locally, the flood walls and the levees were built as a result. And we went through a, a good number of, of uh, I don't want to say flood free years. In the recent past, we've been noticing an increase in flooding issues. We've had two major river floods in 2006 and most recently in 2011 with Tropical Storm Lee. In 2011, there was probably about five feet of water where we're standing. After the 11 flood, the first day we were able to be open, people came and said, I want to be on the buyout list. We saw a big mess throughout the barn, mixed in where the cows are housed. There was a lot of people in harm's way that, um, that were hurt seriously. We have steep hillsides and valleys. They shed a lot of water. So when we start to see different weather patterns where we're getting you know, more water um, more frequently, we don't have a chance to drain out, so we're subject to more, more flashiness and more floods. And so that has its effect on the, on the stream channels, on fields, on infrastructure. Our flood walls aren't as protective as they once were. Can we rely on them into the future? You want to grab that yellow bin over there in front of the remains? Ooh, that look good. Recently, the city of Binghamton worked with FEMA to do some buyouts in some flood-prone properties that had experienced flooding in 2011. They were able to work out an agreement with Vines to use those properties to expand their urban farm. When the farm first started, it was uh, just two lots. But now we've expanded. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. I think we've got 16 lots right in the downtown Binghamton area here. It's a really great innovative use of some of these properties and it makes them productive properties, not just properties that sit there waiting to flood. You're not gonna be able to look at an area that's flooding in isolation. There's gonna be impacts from upstream, impacts downstream that you have to take into consideration. So those might be in another community. So it's really important that you make a collaborative effort to look at the watershed. New York State came up with a funding program, which is the New York Rising Program, where communities along the river that were impacted by the flooding significantly had an opportunity to come together, put together a plan, and identify projects. We worked with Broome County and Tioga County communities to identify a Susquehanna Regional River Initiative. We're looking in the upper parts of the watershed, we're looking to put wetlands in, reconnect floodplains. So it's a really, it's, it's a more dynamic watershed approach rather than just focusing on the river itself. We've known the relationship now between the stream channel, the stream banks, the, the floodplains, the riparian zone, and even those upland inputs of, of things like you know, culvert pipes. We've had three rain events in the past that uh, caused our old pipes to plug up uh, into the manure system once, caused some huge, huge problems there. We've done a bunch of work with uh, the Lusick family farm, replacing culverts, a few years ago over on the tributary to Owego Creek. Not only are we seeing some more large scale river flooding events, instead of getting a two or three inch rainfall over a day or two, now we're getting that two to three to four inch rainfall within a half hour or an hour. That severity of rain that's occurring is really causing some havoc with our infrastructure, culverts especially. So we're focusing more and more on those issues. There's always gonna be a bigger flood. You know, that's one of the mantras. It isn't just the river flooding issue, it's the small streams. We're always promoting what kind of small projects, what can we do? Where can we spend those limited resources that we have? It's changing the culture of how we manage our streams in a holistic way.